Well, hello there, you beautiful people, you. I know this series is not very popular, however, I find it kind of fun, and recording this helps me stay in my linguistic shape. Well, <laughs> still fighting the thick Polish accent, though. Let's uh, move on to today's episode's topic. When speed meets toys, you can get something incredibly basic, like toy cars, or something amazing. Like Beyblade! Hey, don't look at me like that. I have my guilty pleasures. Anyway, Konami decided to cash in on these trends and create another archetype entirely made of speedy toys. Enter Speedroids. The archetype as a whole was introduced properly in High Speed Raiders all the way back in October 2015. It was more or less underwhelming, but there were some cars that were able to get a place in the meta. Those created the Speedroid engine. It had such an enormous impact on the game that since the limitation of one of primary starters, many players tried to come up with a substitute for it, the newest being the Psychic Engine. However, the limitation imposed on the cars prevented the substitute engines from working just like the Speedways did. The Speedroid engine started being met relevant pretty much instantaneous. Its ability to easily summon a rank 3 Xyz monster without a need for a normal summon, which was limited to Burning Abyss at that point, made it a formidable addition to almost any deck. Unfortunately, or fortunately for some, the engine's use was severely crippled with the June 2017 ban list which limited Speedroid Terror Top and relegated the engine to a casual status. At the peak of its popularity, the engine's build was rather straightforward. Triple Speedroid Turretop and one or two Speedroid Takatombork. After the June 2017 ban list, which limited Speedroid Turretop like mentioned previously, the engine pretty much died. People still users would swap two copies of Turretop with Speed Recovery in conjunction with Foolish Burial. Therefore, the new Speedroid engine would look as follows. One Speedroid Turretop, one or two copies of Speed Recovery, one Foolish Burial, and one or two copies of Speedroid Takatombork. With this the engine can still do what it did previously, although not as efficiently. There are a lot of pros for using this engine. The most important are as follows. The engine does not require you to normal summon a monster. It can easily summon a rank 3 Xyz or a link 2. It only needs one card to work and can be used in pretty much anything. Despite of all those pros, there are a few cons when it comes to this engine. The biggest one being that Terratop is unsearchable, unless you use the Foolish Berry and Speed Recovery combination. And the fact that that monster is limited also hinders the engine very much. Technically, you can use this engine in anything you want since it can easily summon a Link 2 monster, in spite of all that rank 3 focused decks are preferable, mostly burning the best. If you wonder why, the answer is simple. The earlier and easier you can summon your main extra deck monster, the better. Well, this wraps things up for today's episode. I hope you liked it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of you didn't know. Well, should I be wrong, we'll leave a comment or a like. Well, see you on Twitch for some good old post-apocalyptic goodness. Smell you later!